Hey everybody, Zach again at NewTutorial.com coming in and making a video for you today. Hey, it is like an emotionally charged campaign season. People are all excited. I see all the posts on Facebook. People are just going nuts. And you know, I just keep thinking back, you know, I see people out there who are like, oh, I'm not voting for Trump or I'm not voting for Cruz. And I mean, and, and uh, I get lots of texts and emails, you know, about the campaign and uh, from all the social media that we're on. And guys, I like Cruz, I like Carson, I like Trump. Um, there are definite aspects of each one of those people that I don't like. Uh, and, and I told you before, I'm not voting. I don't care. This system is designed to keep you emotionally charged and to pick a team. It's the same thing with football. It's, there's no difference between politics and football or baseball or whatever your sport is, okay? You're emotionally attached to a team. Let me get, guys, There are, I'm from St. Louis, okay, folks? And St. Louis is like the mecca of baseball. Besides the New York Yankees, they are the second most winningest team in the history of MLB, Major League Baseball, okay? The St. Louis Cardinals. And, you know, we have won year after year after year, you know, National League and pennants and World Series pennants. And each year, when I was living in St. Louis, I went to my mailbox looking for my St. Louis Cardinals winner's check. And for some reason, it's just not there. I, I come back with nothing. Woohoo! We won! We won! What did we win? What did we win? All I did for years going to St. Louis Cardinals baseball games is to make some rich guy a whole lot more richer. And, but see... They emotionally charge you to keep going. Keep giving that money, boys. Keep rooting for your team. Yeah, your team, your team. It's the same thing with politics. Keep rooting for your team. And that's all this is, okay? I mean, you have Ted Cruz out there. You have Carson out there. And these guys are really likable guys. I really like Ted Cruz. I really like Ben Carson. And I really like Trump. I like Trump mostly because he makes everyone else in the establishment so angry. Um, and the fact that, I like the fact that Ted uh, uh, Trump made his kids get uh, minimum wage jobs when they first got, I mean, there was no silver spoon in their mouths. He made, it's like, you go get a regular job at like McDonald's or whatever. He made them work construction. They, they made him pay, paid him minimum wage. Um, it's things like that. You know, I like that about him. I like the fact that he's never been in politics before. He never takes money from anybody um, when he's always given money to people when they come looking for it. But he doesn't take money from anybody. And the Bible has tons of verses in your scriptures, tons of verses in your scriptures about not taking money from people because it makes you beholden to them. And so I like that about him. I like Ted Cruz for so many reasons. Uh, I like Ben Carson for so many reasons, too, even though there are things that I disagree with Ted Cruz and Carson on. But here's the deal. This system is designed to keep you charged. It's designed to emotionally attach you to a candidate. And, or in a party or a political party so that that's your team. And each year you can go to your mailbox looking for, when your team wins, looking for your check for your winnings. And I'm telling you, you won't find it. You won't find, you will not find your check. Actually, I think we did get a check with Obama. Wasn't there a check that they passed? Or was it a, it was Bush where they did some kind of thing and I think we got a check for a maybe, well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we will get a check in the mail. But guys, again, left wing, right wing, same bird of prey. Left wing, right wing, same bird. There's that quote in that Armageddon movie. Uh, uh, Russian components, American components, all made in Taiwan. You know, <laughs> but it's the same thing with the politics. Left wing, right wing, same bird. And... You're, you're not going to get anything. Guys, you are pe people are emotionally charging you and really wanting to... The system is a deception. That's the point of this video. It's just a deception. Guys, stop it. Let go of the world. This stuff doesn't matter. Satan is making you think it matters. The world is designed to make you think it matters. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Repent, for the kingdom is at hand. That's what matters. Love your neighbor. Love your God. That's what matters. You can't control these things that are outside your realm. You, you, it, it's impossible for you to control these things. What candidate is going to win? You know what can what that candidate's going to do after he wins? These things are outside your control. But what is in your control is to love God, love your neighbor, and repent. Learn what sin is, so that you can understand how wretched of a human being you are, and seek 
forgiveness for those things and then go out and help others. Help others see what sin is. Not by condemning them. You don't need to condemn anyone because they're already condemned. You just have to show them that there is a way for salvation. There's a way for Yeshua. That's what that word means, salvation. And and you can point them in that direction lovingly and, and with kindness and with fear. And so um, I... I uh, I look at this stuff and, and it's a politically charged campaign and people out there are saying, there's a lot of you guys out there are posting a lot of stuff about this on your Facebook pages and I'm seeing it and it's, it's easy to get sucked into it. And I'm telling you guys, don't get sucked into this. It doesn't matter. This is not your fight. It's not your game. Um, all this is, is a show to get people distracted from the things that really matter in this world. Uh, that's where I'm at on the campaign. So, um, we'll leave it at that. Go home. Read your Bible. Thanks.